what up guys bass drop keys your frilly neighborhood negro and a rookie mycologist in this video we're going to continue season two of the all-in-one mushroom bag this time the all-in-one mushroom bag that i'm using is from mush cult supply in episode three i showed you how the mycelium look in the all-in-one bag when it's time for you to do the break and shake and that's what we did in episode three in today's video we're going to be putting the all-in-one mushroom bag in the fruiting conditions after i get it set up to do the hoodie tech which i'm going to try for the first time all right so i did the break and shake on april the 12th this is april the 22nd and you can see that the all-in-one mushroom bag has a lot of inoculation points so therefore you can see that the mycelium is already growing all over the all-in-one bag that's the purpose of the break and shake and you can see that it worked great on this all-in-one bag. All right, so now it's May the 1st, 19 days since we did the break and shake, and this all-in-one bag is already fully colonized. As I'm feeling it, it's rock hard, and really, I could do the fruity conditions right now, but I didn't do it on May the 1st because I had other videos that I needed to put out first. You guys have already seen those videos on the channel. So the all-in-one bag just stayed in the incubation tent until I was ready to put it in the fruiting conditions. All right, so now it's May the 20th, and this is the day that we're gonna put the all-in-one bag in the fruiting conditions. As always, before I start handling the bag, I always spray my gloves with the 70% ISO alcohol. Now that I've done that, take a look at how the bag looks now. You can see that it's still fully colonized and ready to go. There's nothing crazy that's going on. We just gotta put it in the fruiting conditions. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe down the bag with the 70% ISO alcohol, the front of the bag, because we're gonna be using our scalpel in order to cut a hole inside this bag in just a second. So as I said previously in the video, I'm gonna be using the hoodie tech for this all-in-one bag. Now it's called the hoodie tech because as you guys will see further along in the grow, whenever we get to that part of it, when it's time for the harvest and for the second flush, you're gonna see that the bag actually looks like a hoodie, which is pretty cool. Also, I wanna thank Practical Mycology for the education on the hoodie tech. I have no idea who came up with it, but as you guys know, every time I show you something on the channel. I always tell you who I got the information from and all of the information I got from the hoodie tech, I got from a series of videos on Practical Mycology's channel. So shout out to him. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some rubber bands and I'm gonna put some rubber bands around the body of the substrate, of the colonized substrate and everything. I wanna put some rubber bands around the body. The reason why I'm doing that is because Whenever we put this bag in the fruiting conditions, you guys know that pins are gonna start forming wherever there's some air pockets at, that's where the pins are gonna start forming. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate the side pins. So if you use rubber bands and you hold the bag against the body of the substrate, the only place where the pins can form, which is where our mushrooms are gonna form at, is gonna be on top. So in Practical Mycology's video, he basically used one rubber band but he did say that you can use more on his video. So what I'm doing is just to make sure, I'm gonna put probably four or five around the body. And also in some places, there's like little crevices, little dips. It's not like perfectly round or anything like that. So I just wanna put them in the places where I think there's gonna be air pockets because we want all of our pins to form on the top of the bag. So I put the rubber bands on there. As I'm putting the rubber bands on there, I'm pulling the bag up. Like I said, once again, just trying to eliminate any gaps that might be on the sides because we're trying to eliminate side pins. If you remember in season one, there was a massive amount of side pins. So because of that, I actually took it out of the bag and we fruit it inside of a mono tub. But this time, as I told you guys, we want to fruit inside the bag. All right, so now we got the bag set up. We got the rubber bands around the bag. The next thing that we need to do is we need to cut a hole in the bag to let in that fresh air. As you guys know, to induce the pinning, we need that fresh air exchange. So in season one, with the mushroom supplies all in one bag, near the top of the bag, I put a slit on either side. This time around, I'm gonna use the same technique that Practical Mycology showed me. And he said that you can put a hole in the middle of the bag, either above or below the filter patch. The way that he showed it in his video, he did it right under the filter patch. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So as you can see, I flamed up 
my scalpel. We want to make sure that everything is sterile. And then once I let it cool down a little bit, I took the scalpel and I sliced a hole in the bag right under the filter. Once I did that, I just pulled the bag up and down just to waft some fresh air inside the bag. And just like that, our all-in-one bag has been put in fruiting conditions. Now that is put in fruiting conditions, I put it in my fruiting chamber tent and I'm gonna let it sit in there until I start seeing the pins. Once I start seeing the pins, that's when I start using my light. I'll be using my light for six hours a day, only at 10% wattage, so there's only gonna be 65 watts that's being used. And shortly thereafter, we should have some beautiful mushrooms that we fruited right inside the bag. The next video that you're gonna see in this series is whenever we have some mushrooms to harvest. In that video, I'm gonna harvest the mushrooms and then I'll show you what the next steps are in the hoodie tech. Before I get out of here, I do wanna invite everybody to the Shrooms and Trees Discord server. It's my brand new paid Discord server. It's only been up two weeks and we already got 23 members. I will be doing the first giveaway on June the 2nd and I'm actually gonna be giving away one of the North Spore Boomer Bag Kits. I'm actually gonna be giving one away on June the 2nd. And then after that, we're gonna have a new giveaway every month. If you wanna know where to get the spores from, come over to my Instagram account, the Rookie Mycologist Instagram account. Click on the link tree link in my bio and you'll see my recommendation on where you should get your spores from. But guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you wanna support me and the channel, come over to the rookiemycologist.com. I have some great merch on the site that everybody is loving. I wanna thank everybody that's already put in your orders. So if you're looking for a hoodie, t-shirt, slides, stickers, we have a lot of great merch on the site. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, I'm out guys. Much love, Rookie out.